These are the wrestling moves I wish I knew in high school. Brand new merch is out, link in description. I don't think I announced this yet either, but we got new mats. So these are freaking sick, softest mats ever. But today I will be doing the technique, all my wrestling, in the Wrestle Boutique Tar Heels. They actually are not out yet. They're gonna be dropping September 16th. You can actually get them at the link in the description. Super nice baby blue color. I don't think I've ever seen these on a pair of wrestling shoes. So once again, if you guys wanna check this out and the gold colorway, link is in the description below. gentlemen these are wrestling moves that you're not going to learn in high school wrestling i didn't learn these until i came to college and we're going to get him done on our dummy jordan craft today any thoughts no let's get to work all right so this first move here this is when you're on a high crotch or a high c and to be honest this is it probably should be illegal because it legit locks out your leg and it's almost impossible to defend once you get there so i learned this from carter starachi actually so when i get in on my high crotch here right Boom. So he's not gonna like sprawl right away. He might be trying to like move, try, trying to stay up. But my goal, right, is to take him down, cut this corner and drive off. A good way to set this up is you go for a crack down. So go crack him up, down. Oh, he's not moving. Hey, look what I can do here. I'm gonna actually go up high, come up high by his hip. My other hand drops down by his ankle. And my head, this is key, my head goes behind his knee, like this. And from here, he can't turn into me. So I can literally just keep running him down and finish how I want. So get in a high crotch here, boom, do this, boom, head in. I'm right here, he can't move. What, what would you do from here? I can't even turn him, my legs locks out, I just fall. <laughs> right, and I can even just kind of, ooh, get him in a little scissors position, freestyle him over. But that's what I've been working with, and even it has kind of the same idea when you kind of go for the, the shot where you fake one leg, but then you capture two. It's the same idea where my head is behind the knee, just locking out his legs. So next move, I actually figured out, I saw this on an Instagram reel. People are going crazy on the wrestling techniques on Instagram, that these guys were saying, this is what Penn State does. This is what Kale does to get his ankle picks. When we go in for a tie up, I catch this before it latches onto me. And all I do is I just pass it over my head and I, I legit let it rest. As you can see, we don't even have to create a space anymore because we have that angle. So once again, we tying up here, boom, I catch it. I put it over my head. A lot of times too, I can legit just like roll my head just like so, it's kind of the same idea. Let's say I catch it, boom, roll it, I circle. Uh-oh, where's that ankle pick? Magic Man City, right there. Wrestling, boom, catch it. Another thing I, I've been working on actually is just legit drop to a knee, slide it by, and get my points right there. Of, of course, I have to take them down. Yeah. Boom, catch it, boom, boom, get my two points. So that one's super slick. It's damn near the same thing as a slide by. But I thought that is super cool, super unique, getting on all types of different shots. For this next one here, this was actually done by a high schooler, but uh, I saw this at Who's Number One. It is the gnarliest setup to an overtie slide by. And what he does here, so this guy's gonna have an inside tie right here. I'm gonna latch on over for an overtie, and I'm grabbing kind of his ear or his headgear, and I'm pulling it into this bicep. I'm holding that tight. Now, when I do this, when I set up my move, here's the setup. You fake to this opposite leg. You're gonna get him to bite hard. Boom, he bites, guess what's here? Over tie, shrug by, bring him down, get my points. So once again, he collar ties, boom, hugging his head, hugging his head to that bicep. I fake this side, step around, boom. Now when I'm hitting this, all I'm doing is I'm guiding him to the mat. I'm just guiding him to the mat. So when it goes fast, it looks something like this. One more time. 
That is so slick. He's got all the weight on that foot. Guide him on by, you're gonna get easy points. For this next and final technique, you guys have probably seen me hit this in my matches. I legit did not do this in high school at all, but in college when guys get on a single, Kraft is gonna get on a uh, low single here. When he gets on a low single, I don't immediately just wanna freak out here. I wanna pause, think. First line of defense is to just knee. Just knee him down. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna transfer his weight to the opposite side. And all I'm doing is I'm jumping for this ankle and I, and I grab his foot right here. All I do, put my foot on the back of his shoulder, tricep. I kick and I just curl my leg up in the back there. From here, I come around and get my points. He shoots, transfer the weight, jump for the foot, kick, bend, and I come around. And sometimes when we're super close together, this, can, this is where things can get hectic. So he shoots again here. And sometimes maybe I don't have time to transfer that weight over and I just dive right away. Some, sometimes what I do is, it's almost like a jujitsu thing I feel like. What I'm gonna do is I'm grabbing his foot and I'm lifting it over and I'm grabbing this heel just like so. And you see my shin, my shin on his shin. From here, who do you think's in the better position? Definitely me. I have his foot, I lock out his leg right here. He legit can't turn in. Even if he would turn in here, I still have this locked and look where I am. All I do is I sit up and I finish my shot. Boom. Again, he, he can't sit up because that leg is locked. Do that one more time here, fast motion. Real match speed. Boom. Boom. That's elite. 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 We'll catch you boys at the home setup. We're doing the Clash of Combat giveaway, uh, if you saw on Instagram. <laughs> As the giveaway got rolling, definitely we ran into some issues of finding the correct comment picker website because a lot of them you have to pay for. But nonetheless, all three winners were contacted and their plaques and the dopa gear will be sent. Personally, I think giveaways are so much fun, especially like now that we can actually, you know, give stuff away. Currently now today, it's football Sunday and tomorrow starts the beginning of our preseason wrestling training. It's not the official season start time, but this is where we're gonna be, you know, lifted in the morning. We got running with conditioning at night. I have my first online classes in three years, actually, from six to 9 p.m. And I get super excited for this time, especially now that I'm like, legit an upperclassman in college because I kind of know what these freshmen are going through and especially from like the runs and the workouts we're going to do I know how much those push me and I kind of can't wait to I guess you know as a team like bond over that struggle because overall you know like you guys know wrestling is the toughest thing you can do and if you're pushing yourself that hard for that long a time that's really what makes that team synergy so much better and I think that should be the message of this video is enjoy doing hard things because guess what? Nothing good and nothing bad ever lasts. If you're running up on the seventh hill sprint, not knowing if you're gonna make it, just think about in 10 minutes from then, you're gonna be perfectly fine, heart rate back to normal. Right before your next match, you can remember that moment where you're like, I pushed through, I know I can do this, I deserve to be here, I know I can win. Use that to your advantage all the time. So enjoy doing hard things. I appreciate you guys clicking and watching this video. Hope you guys learned something new. If you guys want me to show another move or more technique, let me know in the comments below. New merch with Barbell, these shirts are absolutely pristine so if you want to support me in the channel go grab yourself a shirt thank you to the patrons who support me over on there please like the video and subscribe we'll see you guys next video